Did you know that in some situations, a doctor who accepts Medicare can actually balance bill you, charge you above what the Medicare approved amount is for a certain service or procedure. These are called Medicare excess charges. And today I'm gonna to explain how they work and how to avoid them, so stay tuned. So if your doctor doesn't accept the amount that Medicare agrees to pay for a service, then the doctor could charge you up to 15% above the Medicare approved amount. These fees are called excess charges. They can occur on Part B services, which includes physicians, office visits, physicians fees, and certain outpatient procedures. Now, most doctors that accept Medicare patients have signed on to be a Medicare participating provider. So this means that they've signed a contract that they will accept the amount that Medicare pays for any service or procedure. This is also known as accepting Medicare assignment. In this case, they accept Medicare's payment as payment in full, and they can't balance bill you above the Medicare approved amount. However, in some situations, a doctor could be a non-participating provider, which means they don't accept Medicare assignment. So they may see Medicare patients, but not accept Medicare's payment as payment in full. It's important to know that in certain states, the ones you see listed on the screen right now, Medicare excess charges are completely illegal or limited. So if you're in these areas, you generally don't have to worry about Medicare excess charges. Let's give a real life clear example of how a potential Medicare excess charge could work. Suppose you go in for a doctor's office visit and Medicare has set the reimbursement rate at $100 for that certain office visit. Now let's say you've satisfied your Part B deductible for the year. In this case, Medicare will pay its 80% that it pays on Part B services, so it'll pay $80 to the doctor, and then you're responsible for the remaining 20% coinsurance, or $20 in this situation. Now, if you have a Medicare supplement plan or a Medigap plan, then you likely don't have to pay that. Most all Medigap plans will cover that Part B coinsurance, and you don't have to pay that out of pocket. Now, alternatively, let's rework the scenario and say that your doctor accepts Medicare patients, but they don't accept Medicare assignment. So they're a non-participating provider. In this situation, the Medicare approved amount, which is the amount that Medicare pays plus your coinsurance, is set at 95% of the normal Medicare approved amount. So Medicare would approve $95 for this office visit and Medicare would pay the provider 80% of that or $76 in this case. Then if you didn't have a Medigap plan, your coinsurance, your 20% coinsurance would be $19, which is 20% of $95. Then the doctor is allowed to charge an additional 15% above the original amount. So up to 15% above that $95. If the doctor charged the full 15%, then this patient would be responsible for an extra $14.25 in this situation. Now, most people on Medicare, like I mentioned before, will have some type of supplemental coverage, a Medigap, also known as a Medicare supplement plan, which covers your Part B coinsurance typically. And there are a couple Medicare supplement plans that do cover any potential excess charges, Medicare Supplement Plan F and Medicare Supplement Plan G. Now, Medicare Supplement Plan F is no longer available to any newly eligible Medicare beneficiaries that turned 65 or became eligible for Medicare as of 2020. However, if you were eligible for Medicare prior to 2020, then you can still have Plan F, it's still available to you. But these are the only two Medigap plans that fully cover Medicare excess charges. So how big of a deal are these excess charges? Are they something that you should worry about, especially if you don't have a Medicare supplement Plan F or Plan G? Maybe you have a Medicare supplement Plan N, which is growing in popularity. This plan doesn't cover Medicare excess charges. Well, as of 2020, 98% of providers accepted Medicare assignment. 
So that means only 2% of physicians could potentially be billing you any excess charges. And in reality, the amount of claims that are actually being balance billed with these excess charges is even lower. So you can see on medpac.gov that it says here that in 2022, 98% of clinicians billing physician fee schedules were participating providers, meaning they agreed to accept Medicare's fee schedule amount as payment in full. Clinicians who wish to collect somewhat higher payments of up to 109.25% of Medicare's payment rates can balance bill patients for additional cost sharing if they sign up as a non-participating provider and choose not to take assignment on a claim, but very few clinicians choose this option. In 2022, 99.7% of fee schedule claims were paid at Medicare's standard payment rate. If they elect to opt out of the program, clinicians can choose the price they charge patients and bill beneficiaries directly for their services, but receive no payment from Medicare. So this is referring to doctors that just don't take Medicare at all. They don't submit any claims to Medicare. Consistent with prior years, the number of clinicians that opted out of Medicare as of September 2023 was extremely low compared with the 1.3 million clinicians who participated in the program in 2022. So a lot of my clients will ask me, with Medicare having kind of notoriously lower payment schedules than other commercial insurance, will more doctors stop taking Medicare or will more doctors stop becoming participating providers? It says that there's many reasons that clinicians may choose to accept fee-for-service Medicare despite payment rates that are usually lower than commercial rates. A substantial share of most clinicians' patients are covered by Medicare, and if these clinicians opted to accept only commercial insurance plans, then they may not be able to fill their patient panels. In addition, physicians who are employed by hospitals or health plans may be required to accept Medicare as a condition of employment, and some hospitals may require physicians to participate in Medicare to receive admission to clinical privileges. Now, if you want to be sure to avoid any and all excess charges on traditional Medicare, even though we've seen here that they are really quite rare, there are a few different ways to go about this. The first option is to choose a Medicare supplement, Plan G or Plan F if you're eligible, to supplement your traditional Medicare benefits. These plans will fully cover any and all potential Medicare excess charges. Another option is to search for your providers in advance on Medicare.gov to make sure that they accept Medicare assignment, that they accept Medicare's payment as payment in full. If you go to the government Medicare website, Medicare.gov, and you search using their provider finder tool, you'll enter in your zip code, you can enter in your doctor's name, and once you find your provider, you'll be able to check on them, and you can see if you see this little dollar sign, then you know that they accept Medicare assignment. They charge the Medicare approved amount, and you won't pay any excess charges as long as you're visiting this provider. Now, one of the most recent videos that I did was all about Medicare supplement rate increases. So with the rising premiums associated with Medicare supplement insurance, more and more seniors are talking to me about considering Medicare supplement plan N, which is a plan that generally comes with lower premiums and also generally lower rate increases as well. But some of them are unsure because plan N doesn't cover Medicare Part B excess charges. But in my opinion, that should not totally steer you away from plan N. As we've seen here, the chance that you'll receive an excess charge on any of your Medicare claims is really quite low. So I do think that for many people, plan N is a Medicare supplement plan worth considering even though it doesn't cover Medicare excess charges. And based on personal experience in my office, we've been doing this for a long time. We help thousands and thousands of seniors, many of whom have a Medicare supplement plan N, and I don't think we've ever heard of anyone being billed an excess charge. So that's just anecdotally been my experience. You can let me know in the comments below if you've ever received a Medicare excess charge or what your experience has been. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'm filming for the first time in my new home office. We kind of redid it. Um, so a little bit of a different background today. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate you watching, leaving your questions and comments below. Please share this video with someone you think could find value here and we'll see you soon.